of June 2022. It's my birthday, I'm 34 years old. And we are in beautiful Rome. We're just about to go into the Vatican. Um, I've wanted to come here for so long. So what better way to celebrate my birthday than going to the Vatican City. This is St. Peter's Square in the Vatican City, home to the Catholic Church and the Pope. Lots of tourists around, but a beautiful place. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go in the museums, but it was an incredible place and definitely worth a visit. This is a birthday breakfast. It is. So yeah, it's a shame we can't go in the museum, but the queue, an, an, an hour long. and a half, yeah. an hour and a half, okay. The queue was too long, but um, St. Peter's Square was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Touring around Rome can be very surreal at times. It's so picturesque. It's like a movie, sometimes hard to believe. There's so much style here, everyone looks good. Even the police in their uniforms look outstanding. There's a picture on every corner and we wanted to see as much as we could. So we jumped on a hop on, hop off bus and tried to see as much as we could. Hello guys. So we are in the bus and I've got Olivia, my sister, with me. <laughs> This thing to listen to some, some music. Yeah. Our first stop was the Colosseum. It's incredible, colossal, in fact. Such a marvel of work. We were tempted to go inside, but we thought not with the buggy. But there's so much going on outside, you can just walk around and take it all in. And of course, we managed to get our family photo. We've arrived at the Spanish Steps, really famous place of Rome. Looks amazing. And now there's this like fountain where you can get some water from. I've got this old bottle here. Right, but you've got to kind of cross this thing here and fill the water up from there. So these really young children. Can you do it? Come on. Cross. Cross the treacherous. <laughs> Whoa. Well done. And there's the fountain. Does the water taste good? Is it what? Is it cold or what? Uh, but there's ice in this already, but it's cool. Olivia and Scarlett going. What's the betting that Scarlett's going to fall in? Careful. Go on then, Scarlett. Scarlett. Careful. On, careful. There you go. Well done. Hey. Is the light a little bit closer? Uh, she's going to go oh. in. After the Spanish Steps, we then walked around the corner to the Trevi Fountain. It's probably one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Yes, very busy with tourists, but we still got to marvel at it. So we've had a full day of walking around Rome again, sightseeing. It's just such an incredible, it's, I'm going to say it's the most beautiful city I've ever seen. Absolutely beautiful. We still have all three girls, which is amazing. <laughs> Good news for us. Uh, and we're currently, Scarlett, come back a second. We're currently walking across a bridge, oh, and bridge. this bridge is where, in um, Spectre, um, James, yeah, Bond James Bond goes down on the. Thing yeah, on the on the side. He's on that side over there, 
and his drives on the sidewalk. But just look at this bridge. There's the Castel de Sant'Angelo. What an incredible bridge this is. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to try and make it back to the hotel. Now. Yeah, we're about 15 minutes walk from the hotel. We've walked a long way today, longer than we were expecting to, but it's all good. We're good. of Julius Caesar. So that right there is where he was killed well over 2,000 years ago. As you can see, it's all still standing. It's incredible and this is what's amazing about Rome. You come out down to the centre and there are so old ancient ruins just right there, um, steeped in history. For our last day, we decided to pop down to the Piazza Navona, home to the Fontana di Quattro di Fiumi, or Fountain of the Four Rivers. One thing we felt we were missing from our trip to Rome was to actually go inside a church, so we had to squeeze one in before we went home. Tamira spotted a door open to the side of Piazza Navona, so we had a walk in. This is the incredible church of St. Agnes. Scarlett's friend from back home is currently very poorly, so we decided to light a candle and say a prayer. Inside, it's absolutely breathtaking. One of the most magnificent places we've ever visited. It had a certain feel about it, and one that you can't explain until you actually go inside somewhere like this. To sum it up, travelling to Rome as our family of five has been nothing short of life changing. The things we've seen, the girls have, have learnt so much, it's been an incredible trip. But there's so much of this world to see, and coming to a place like Rome just ignites that passion for travel, culture and experience. Travelling with our children is one of the most incredible things we've experienced and I've got a feeling that this journey is just beginning for us. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, ciao.